Hey everyone, this is Sai here. Today we're going to go over the introduction to save searches and why it's a crucial part of NetSuite and what a save search means and how it will help you improve your usability of NetSuite. So what is a save search? So if you guys look up for any search in Google, for example, and if you would like to use the same search again and again to get a new set of results based on your timeline, that is what is a safe search to make it simpler if i wanted to like search for all the customers in the system and i wanted to save that with a certain set of filters predefined that is what would be a safe search in netsuite for example go to lists relationships customers would give you the default customer list in the system so what if I wanted to customize this and save it for myself for future use? So all I would need to do is go into on the top right here, click on search. And you could see that there is uh, two options. You can personalize this search and then submit to get the results or you could create a safe search. So today we're going to create a safe search using this button here. And this is the view you would get when you go into a safe search. So um, the quick things to keep in mind here is the name of the search. So this is something where you can always search on the global search bar. So I'm going to call it customer search and just give it um, like, a, like a custom or something so that it's easier for me to find it later can make it public so for, for if you want other users in your system to be able to find it use this um, you can make it available as a list view what this means is you can search using like if you wanted to have this search on uh, a portlet or like as a sub list you can definitely use one of these options along with the list view so you can make it available as a dashboard view sub list reminders and show in menu so it shows up everywhere I'm just going to select all of these options for the demo. You can create, give it a custom ID if you're going to use the search in a sweet script. Um, but to start off with uh, a basic customer search, and I want to pre filter uh, for like any, any customers, customer that is like, let's say, in a city, right? Any customer like where their city is not empty, for example. So I'm going to set this and see what results they have, right? I can remove the fields that I, I want to see or like have the fields that I want to see and remove the fields that I don't need. I can sort it by the name. I, I also want to include their internal ID. So it's easier for me to search and just put on the top. So click on move to top. Right. So these are all the results. You can like you have different output types. You can sort by multiple levels. Three levels is what is allowed by default. You can run unrestricted and you can um, show it as a report grid graph. So all of these are available by default in NetSuite. You can also highlight for based on a certain condition. For example, I wanted to see any all the customers who are like a balance greater than zero. So I would put in this condition over here and use an expression. So just an example, balance greater than zero, right? And then click on set, and then you can make the background color. You can choose the color, so I'm just going to make it yellow, right? You can also make it bold and add this. So this is how you could highlight uh, your customer record. And then go into available filters. Th these are the filters which are not predefined, but rather you want to filter it once the results are loaded. So then I would just like to add in like maybe a subsidiary, for example. So I'm gonna just put in subsidiary and then bring in the name. So, so I'm just gonna click on show and filter region, click on add. So it's gonna show up there. Then the audience, the, the list of users you wanna have the search be a, be able be accessible to so you can have it by a role by a subsidiary by an employee departments groups or you can any partners that you have the search open to 
again this is again available by the role how you want it to be visible for them by a list by a form results dashboard or sublist there's a lot of customizable options for save search and one important feature that um, I love about Safe Searches in NetSuite is the ability to send email alerts. You can do it when a record is created or updated, or you can send it by a schedule. Like say, if you want to get this list of customers on a Monday morning, so you can check up any new customers that have been added to the system. So this is where you would be able to do it. You can also specify the recipients you want, or from recipients from based on a particular field, right? If you already have like on a, from a customer or like a contact list you want to bring in so you can use that from here or like which fields you uh, would like to trigger this safe search based on a particular change in condition then you have they can also put in a customized email template format so you can put in a from like a subject then the intro and then how you want your results to be you can make it within the message if it's too many results i would prefer to send it as a csv or an excel file PDF is just for mostly for printable formats. If you want to like have a dashboard, like uh, a pretty graph, I would go with the PDF. And then you can also include the link so they can just click on the link uh, on the on the email and then come over to NetSuite. So there's this option as well. And then you can schedule it weekly, daily, single, or a monthly or yearly thing. And you can start your series and then end and give it a time as well. And the recurrence is also available here. And then audit trail, this is basically uh, like who's edited your search or what changes have been made. And then execution log is who's run this uh, safe search. So once you're done with configuring your safe search, I would go ahead and click on save and run. By default, it shows you the option of save. Then I would select this drop down here and then click on save and run. So now your search would basically run for you and here you go you could see all your customers with a city in it we can add the field city to make sure that the field city is available for these to do a cross check see the subsidiary as well it's currently a named field so if you want to type in something you should be able to search for that subsidiary So here you go. And all the highlighted ones are where the balance is greater than zero. So we can bring in the balance and um, the CD fields to verify this. So let's do that real quick. Here we go, and again, I would go out, go ahead and click on save and run. So there we go, all the CDs are in here. So balance is greater than zero. One other thing you can keep in mind is that you can always preview your search before you save it. So see that the balance is zero, it's not showing up. And then anything with balance greater than zero is highlighted in yellow. Right, so you can return to criteria here and then save and run. So if I were to like go back, go over to another screen and then search for this using global search, I could do it as customer search and I'll show you all the searches with customer search. So this is the one which we cre we've created. So just click on here to be able to view this you can add it as a shortcut or you can add it into your home screen so going back to your home dashboard clicking on personalize custom search set up and find it in your search as simple as that so Hope this was helpful um, and we will talk in depth about transaction searches and other kinds of reporting in NetSuite in the next session. Thank you.